Hello YouTube and welcome to another Vacuum Man 8 video today and we are just doing the, um, we're going to do a demo of this one and we're just going to do a couple of thoughts, um, a couple of upgrades we've had for Kyle's Hetty Turbo. So the main thing today is the main upgrade we've had for this one is this one now has been pack tested. So now he can take this one to school. So yeah, so basically, if you got carpets or lots of rugs, you know, normal rugs, not talking. Not things always scream. Not talking about the stupid like thick ones with the you know the two inch thick rugs. This is the way to go with a Henry, with a terrible tool. Um, it does also come with a um, standard head as well. This will work. This will work. Um, this one still comes with the what I would call the good quality head. Yes. Um, so going back to the quality Visual Rock, it looks like you've got a logo there. The Visual Rock logo looks like a Visual Right, so basically, we watched iBasics video, I think last week yeah. when it came up, and Carl was quite angry with what new matter have done the head to uh, the head, really, because this one, because I think these new wheels on the side of the head will probably strap off and. New matter doesn't say turn back to the fucking shop and ask the shop will say, ah, oh, the wheel's strapped off. No, oh, you can't return it now. So now, now, now you, probably someone's going to phone up Now you know how angry he is with it. And now someone's going to so, phone up pneumatic and ask, and ask in the shop and ask you and ask pneumatic you have to talk to the, the people in the shop that have to return it in the shop. Return in the shop. Yeah. So to me, they've just used this molding. Yes. And transferred it onto their floor head to match these two. And the pedals are a bit but exactly the same. From experience, the this one with the wheels on the back, these are the bits that snap off more than these. the roller. So, and I do know this one's got the Visual Art logo on them. Yeah, it will do. That. That. So, he does take it to school. I mean, it is filled, filled up with flour and stuff like that. Um, kind of, there's a little bit of flour. So, it? um, I just think over the years, pneumatic have been cost cutting their machines. Yes, cost cutting. And you know, with Even the, the most made out of plastic, hard enough. You know, like the latest one is the floor edge. You know, I mean, that is a very good floor edge indeed. And once upon a time, they did have metal bases on, didn't they? Yes. The I think the Lewis had one on there. Yeah, the Lewis is the only one I had it. Uh, I do need to. I do need to take this thing apart because I got these when I uh, when a neat. Another leak in the school. I sucked them up with it and it's got all shammed in there. We'd have to take that apart probably sometime today. So, we have noticed like, over the years they've made changes, obviously, to. Uh, I first think it's cost cutting changes or changing suppliers. Now, one of the issues that's annoying Carl with this one particularly is for loose tools. It's how loose this tool is. So over time, I think pneumatic have been making changes or suppliers or whatever. They used to make the tools in house. Now, on the 2020 machines, I've noticed they come in a green bag. They used to come in a bag like this one here. Now, if you take off these, if we build the these tools up, okay, we're not going to get the adapter. Right. If we build these, these are still going to take So we build these, so these are the ones that come with the turbo. This is also from the turbo. No. But the older version. See how tight that one is a lot tighter. And now let's do the tightness test. Compare with that one. Yeah, that one's really loose. And, that. and now, now let's do the tightness test. Yes, it stays in now, look. So I don't know what's going on These here. They do look very similar, but no. oh yeah, they're different length for you, look. But it just doesn't seem to fit. So what what pneumatic are doing now? Give and I've noticed with a lot of things when they come out with a Henry Pro, Pro kit, they had a picture of a a nice turbine head on it. I think they had what was that turbine? This one. They had that one there on the front, and it took them a year before they actually had the right one actually in the box, this one. didn't they? Yes. Which was a bit off put putting because if you buy something, you know, with a box on there, and it but it does say due to changes, isn't it? Yes. It does say in small print, so that's how they got away with that. So we'd like to show you the difference between the Henry Allergy and the Turbo. There's a couple of little things we've noticed different. Look, the plugs 
are the plugs are different like so that's the new the older henry plug that's the newer plug and that's the older plug and these plugs they've had these on they've the got a place to put a pack test stick on them yeah they have the henry allergy was a design change um model where they they basically modified the standard henry but we're not going to go too much on about it but i just feel that the construction and and the products they use on this allergy which is is it's a lot it just means i just feel that they're just making them a lot less hard wearing um not on purpose you know it's all companies you know obviously with covid they probably had to change suppliers get help probably had problems from their normal suppliers to supply things because so going on from the floor head now this one is from the henry allergy now one of the nice functions they had on this one was this and it's on most henry's it's got these heads still have the you can most, most henry's it, take the pin out, come out and after this comes out and then you can get in there and unblock it and our side just goes back in like that right. that goes back in nice and So this one here does say painting on the back of there. Paint on. Painting did. Do it on. Painting did. But if you have a look at the one on the um, newer one, Henry Petey. Turbo, it is actually Petey Turbo. Petey Turbo. It is actually, you know, it is actually, you can see it here, slightly different design look. Even when you strip, strip them over. Yeah, well, we're not going to do that. So as you can see, this floor head is a lot bigger than that one. Now. This one. This one handles. doesn't have. A pairs without one. This feature lot. A pairs without one. Um, the oh. only way you could get this one out really is, is you hit it with a screwdriver. Well, a hole punch. Yeah. You'd have to get one of those special hole punches for that. So that's another thing. So it just does look cheaper, slightly different. If you can see here, look, this one's a lot bigger. Um, it's a more co this one's more of a compact design. And this one's got a brush around, around it. This one's got a squeezy. Right. So yeah, brushes, brushes, squeezy, brush. So, but I don't know if it, I'll just see all that, you and know. And this one, it's got this. Yeah. And something might be really So, worse. I do believe that pneumatic are changing or have changed. Them heads. Their suppliers on or... Obviously, they can't use this design because this was designed by Visselberg. I just think that this year is... A cheap knockoff one. Is their in-house one. They all think they're make, manufacturing... I think they need a cheap knockoff one, didn't they? So I just feel that, you know, I think this head here is, um, you know, made in-house or made by another supplier. And obviously, with patents with this one... You can't exactly copy it. You can make something similar. And then the one with our basic's got, it's got the one with the wheels on, but it's like this with the wheels on it, which is like what you get on those very cheap 2000 Hoover cleaners. And, yes, and the Asda. And the, and the Asda Goblins, isn't it? The, what, the £39 ones? Yes, I found, I found one that actually had the same head on it. Got. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so basically, so, you know, the quality, they are... They have changed quite a bit on this model when you closely look at it. Um, but it's cheaper. So which one would I? So out right of the two heads, which one would you have? This one. This is the one that I have. So that means you don't buy this petty anymore. That's just going to chase the. The problem is anyway. that on the boxes they have got a thing saying they can change specifications without notice. So yeah, so they're definitely changing things on it. Uh, what we could do as well, we could maybe. I think while well, we've got both the heads there, we could maybe see if there's any difference in them. So what we've done, we've lined up the the original um, style head with the... The um, work head. The Vissel work head with the... Um, of the allergy with the um, the one you can take apart. This is the newer style one. The one you can take apart. This is the one you also get on the Henry Turbo as well. We've noticed it's got the same head as well. And also we have... The, the turbo head. The turbo head, but this is the latest yeah. turbo head. And I think the turbo head might be better than this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to compare the three heads on the same machine. We put uh, various sorts of hoover food down as well. Turn it on. Go on then. 
um, the one you can take apart. This is the newer style one. The one you can take apart. This is the one you also get on the Henry Turbo as well. We've noticed it's got the same head as well. And also we have the, the turbo head. The turbo head, but this is the latest yeah. turbo head. And I think the turbo head might be better than this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to compare the three heads on the same machine. We put uh, various sorts of food food down as well. Turn it on. Go on in. There we go. Yeah, it's a funny angle. Funny angle! Right, that's enough there. So that one was quite hard to push, mate, wasn't it? But we're at a funny angle. Um, I've got white for now, so it could have been the white went inside the head. Rice does get inside the heads of those as well. So we put that on the chair then. I need to probably take that thing apart. Next one we'll try last one, but what we'll do this time, we'll start from this side. Because you you can't do it at an angle, mate. You, normally we don't vacuum from there. I'll tell you, yeah, we'll vacuum from this angle actually. Uh, it is kind of skipping. Right. Push it from this side to make it fair. Much better. A lot easier, isn't it? Yeah. It seems a lot easier first, doesn't it? In the new one. Yeah. It's a little bit less skipping on it. So what we're going to do now, we're going to have the turbo head on. Um, oh, turbo nozzle. It's an air driven one. Yeah. Um, it is the latest one with what you the get. The air will wash up the boiler. So switch this one on now. Finish off with the turbo and make it give it a good thing to that. But as you can see, the difference between a hard floor head and the turbine head on the uh, the floors um, on your carpets. So the bigger stuff, you can't beat a turbo head. Even your white can't get by the turbo. Can't get yeah. This is called preferred carpet cleaning head on a Henry. Um, Power heads is first, then on the modern ones, it's got to have a turbo head. No, we always test on the turbo cam. Uh, Lumanic are actually uh, doing the right thing by trying to get people to buy the turbo head kits to go with it. Because that's the way they should be, you know, if, as an option. No, doesn't seem to be a lot less, um, yeah. Stuff getting stuck in it. A lot less in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's a couple bits in there. That's just that's stuck in the turbine nut. But if you used it normally, that would all be gone. Then you can see the difference between the turbo head. Yeah, it's still got some stuff Yeah, in that's there. fine. But compare of, you've just literally vacuumed the whole carpet, aren't you, with all that on the, on the floor. So, overall, it's a good machine. Um... Like I say, the turbo head is the best out of the three. I would say the older style um, head, which is the Visselwerk, as we know, or the, or the older style one, the older style. is a lot better. And then the one that you actually get with it now is that one. And apparently the newest one that they've just bought out, which has got the wheels on the side, oh, it's, wor really it's worse than that one again. So it is a good machine generally, it is better than, this is still better than buying one of those very cheap ones you buy in the supermarket, like your uh, Goblins 
or your own brand, Tesco and brand ones. So, you know, Henry's over the years, they have got a bit cheap. Obviously, to keep their prices at the same, they actually have to cut costs, you know, full stop. And obviously, with COVID-19 going on and everything like that, they've obviously got to look at, they've obviously looked at different suppliers or different modes. Um, I don't know if it was a quality issue, um, but it just seems to me that that pack that he had in the I green... I tried to get the voice out the head. Yeah. Uh, the pack the pack he had with that one was horrendous. Now, if I asked, if I phoned pneumatic up and said, all oh, the tools don't fit, the answer would be, take the whole machine back to the shop and then replace it, won't they? Yeah. And the answer is, well, hang on a minute, It's those tools are about five or six pounds. Um, we're actually going to be looking out for another set of tools on eBay for them because they're always on. Just so for about eight, eight or ten I'm pounds. I'm pony balls in the voice outlet. Yeah, we'll get we'll get a brand new brand new one in the packet, you know, yeah, and then and then that'll solve this frustration with it. And then the other ones I'm probably going to use on the dirty at e in the garden because I think that's about as much as fit as they are to be used, don't they? The the new ones. <laughs> So yeah, so that could be the new Dirty Yeti's new deck, deck, deck cleaning tool there. So uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Vacuum Addict and see you again on another Vacuum Addict video. Bye.